Popping on a west side, cause it's why I stay. I just made it thousand. Today we're going to be learning how to use audio to animate a character in Blender and again this week to help me is my furry little friend. I'm going to use Artlist.io to choose my audio track. They're not sponsoring this video but I do have an affiliate link in the description if you'd like to help support this channel. Just a reminder these project files will be available on Patreon if you'd like to dig through my projects and learn that way as well. In the beginning here we're going to show how to model the character so if you want to skip that just skip ahead and I'll be covering how to animate the audio a bit later in the tutorial. Okay so to start we're going to add a cube here and then we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to crank that up to 2. I'm going to hop into edit mode here and we just want to make this look like an egg. So let's go ahead grab these top points up here in wireframe view and we'll just scale those down a little bit. Let's add an edge loop here. And we'll kind of scale that up a bit. We'll grab these, scale those down a bit, and then just kind of adjust that until you get an egg-like shape you're pretty happy with. I'm gonna maybe make that a little taller and thinner. And to me, I'm pretty happy with that as an egg shape. So we'll go ahead, turn shade smoothing on, and then we are going to hit apply. Then we're going to add another subdivision surface. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab these bottom points here and I'm going to scale those up on the Z to kind of flatten out just the bottom of the egg. I'm going to grab these points right here in the middle. I'm going to turn on our proportional editing and just scale those up ever so slightly. And with that, I'm kind of pretty happy with our little egg shape. You can keep playing with that if you want to refine that more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the chicken inside of the egg that will be popping his head out. So what we will do, we'll come back in here into edit mode. We'll take this, we'll duplicate it, we'll go into wireframe mode, and we will turn off proportional editing, and then we will scale that in ever so slightly. What we're going to do is we're going to hit control I, and that will select the opposite mesh. We will hit hide. And then now here we'll have our little bird that we can modify inside without the egg in the way. So what we're going to do is switch over to solid view. I'm just going to go ahead, add another cube. You'll see that it'll come in as a sphere. I'm going to go ahead, back out here to the modifier. I'm going to turn this up to two. I'm going to shade smooth again. And I'm okay if these eyes are a little bit lower poly. I think that they're going to be so small that you can't tell anyways. Just going to come into side view here. I'm just kind of bring this out and just work on making him a little face by just kind of duplicating two little eyes here so you can kind of make those eyes as big or small as you want and just kind of place them in there. Let's go ahead duplicate that on the X. You could also use a mirror modifier if you like. I sometimes find that it's just a little quicker to kind of do it this way. Now you can see here then when I come out, it's showing the rest of the egg, so don't panic. We're going to fix that in a second. Now let's go ahead and add a little beak. So what I'm going to do is, again, add a cube. I'm going to bring that out here to the front and kind of place that here. I'm going to grab these vertices here in wireframe mode, and we're just going to kind of pinch that down to give them a little beak. We'll add an edge loop. We'll kind of pull that back, and that'll also help kind of give some structure. So let's go there. Go back into edit mode. See how everything's looking. And great. I'm going to come out here, do shade smooth. Go back into edit mode to kind of get an idea of what it looks like. After you've gotten your chicken modeled how you want, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt-H to reveal that egg. We're going to deselect everything. We're going to hit L over this egg to select that egg, we're going to hit P and we're going to hit selection. Now what that's going to do is dump the egg in its own object. So now these will be two separate objects from one another. So I'm just gonna grab this chicken for now. I'm going to hide it so it's not in our way. I'm going to go into front view here. And I actually do not want this subdivision surface on this egg, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go into edit view. I'm actually going to take this edge loop by alt clicking it. Just drag that down on the Z and then I'm going to kind of scale that back out to get where it is. I'll grab these edges just to kind of even out my topology a little bit. Now with the way we're animating this, the topology doesn't have to be perfect. Now what we're going to do is use the knife tool so you can get that by pressing K. And then I'm going to look at all my options down here and I want cut through to be on so I'm going to hit Z. 
and then I'm just going to drag and inside of this little area kind of make a cracked egg pattern. And the reason I moved those edge loops is because I didn't want to intersect with these horizontal edge loops because that was going to make it kind of difficult to do it this way. So you can see here that now we've kind of cut that around there. And again, it's not great looking geometry, but for the purpose of how we're animating this, it'll be fine. So we're going to press V. And what that will do is kind of disconnect those meshes. So you can see now that we have two separate pieces. So we'll jump back out to object mode. We will add a solidify modifier, and you can see that's going to screw up the normals. We'll fix that in a second. Let's come in here and kind of determine the thickness we want. So we'll come in edit mode, we'll hide that top there, and let's just get an idea of how thick this egg is. Now by the default, that may work. I'm going to turn mine up just one or two more notches to give it a tiny bit more depth. I'm going to come back out to object mode. We'll see that our egg top is still there, and we can come down here to auto smooth under the normals, and we'll just check that and it should fix it. You can play with this setting. Now we want to join this back in with our bird. So let's go ahead and just so we don't get confused, let's name this egg and we will name this chicken. We will turn off the egg, we will turn on the chicken, and we're just going to apply the subdivision surface modifier that is on this egg. And once we have that applied, we're going to turn back on our egg. We're going to select both of those with the egg selected second, and we will hit Control J and that will join those objects together. And you can see we got a little bit of bad normals there. You can go in here and you can play with this angle. I usually turn mine to around 40, and great. We'll select both of our egg halves here. Make sure that we have our median point turned back on there, and we're just gonna scale this up a bit so that you can't see the nose popping through. And with that, we kinda have our little character made. So what we'll do here is we'll now come over to this tab and we will create a shape key called basis and we will create a shape key called open. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into edit mode. We're going to hit L on this eggshell and we're going to move this up to reveal our chicken. And then what we'll do is take our little chicken and his eyes and his nose and we'll just select all of that. We'll also bring him up a little bit and you can just kind of play with this until you get the proper pose. So what we're doing here is when the animation pops, it's going to push the shape key up so that it reveals the little chicken's face inside of the egg. So you can kind of play with that and get whatever you think looks best. We're going to select everything here and we're going to drag that up there so that he's kind of at the base because we want him to be at the base there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply our audio animation to the egg. So now we want to rig our character so that we can animate that shape key with audio. So how we need to do that is we're going to come in here to armature, going to add a bone. We'll go into wireframe view here. We will name this bone driver. After you've named that bone driver, we'll click the egg here. We'll come over here to the shape key panel and we're going to add a driver here. And once we add this driver, we're going to select the armature and then for the bone, we're going to select driver. Then we're going to take the location and we're going to change it to Z location. And then we're going to leave it for now. After that, let's select our egg. Let's go to pose mode here. If we move that up and down on the Z, we can see that it's animating our character by affecting that shape key. So once we know that's working, we're going to make sure that we're on our first keyframe here at one, and then we're going to hit I, and then we're going to hit location to put some keyframes on our bone there in pose mode. We'll delete the X location, we'll delete the Z location, we'll leave the Y location, we'll make sure that we have that keyframe selected, we'll come up here to key, hit bake sound F curves, and here we'll have all of our options. You wanna make sure these are checked off, those are for special case scenarios, what you want to pay attention to is your frequency range. You can look up a frequency range graph online if you don't know your audio frequencies, but I know that 20 to 200 is going to cover most of my bass, which is what I want to animate my character. After that, you just select your song, hit bake sound to F curves, and now we'll see that it's kind of popping that bone up. We'll see that it's not fully animating him to open all the way up, but if we look here on the graph, we'll see that it's not ever actually reaching one. 
So to fix that, we're going to select our bone, we're going to go on the pose mode, we're going to pick our bone, we're going to come up here, and we're going to search bake action. I'm going to hit bake action there. And I'm going to turn off only selected bones, which is on by default. And I'm going to make sure bake data set to pose. I'm going to hit OK. It'll take a little bit of time here. And now you can see that everything's been baked to keyframes. Now I have a lot of keyframes here I don't need. So I'm going to delete everything in here except for the lie location. And now we're able to go in here and animate our keyframes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything here. And I'm going to scale that up on the Y until it gets about one. And then I can just go ahead, drag that up there. So now you can see that when we play back, the audio is affecting the animation of our bird by pushing that shape key from zero to one on that driver that we have. Just a quick tip here, if you don't know how to play audio back in your timeline, you can come up here, you can go to the video sequencer, you can add sound and then you select your same sound file. And as long as you're on the start frame there, now when you play back, you'll hear that audio playback to match with your animation. So that covers how to kind of animate this character with audio. As far as how I set up the rest of the scene, I'm gonna speed through that because there's really nothing I haven't covered in my other tutorials in there. All I did is I went ahead and used the clay shader for my clay shader tutorial. And I'll link to that in the description below. Gave each row of chicken their own color. And then to create these rows of chickens, I just created a circular array, which I will link you to my friend JNM's tutorial on how to do this in the description below. But it's pretty simple. You just add an object array, and then you just target an object, and then you just kind of rotate, and it'll kind of move around that array. Again, if you don't know how to do that, it's in the description below. After that, for the animation, I took each row that was away from the center and I just kind of increasingly offset the animation keyframes by two to four keyframes each one so that when it popped up in that center, it then looked kind of like a wave because it was delayed just a few frames for all the other ones. One important thing to note though is that if you are going to kind of duplicate and offset the animation like me, make sure that you do duplicate that bone as well and offset the animation on that bone because if you remember that bone is what drives the eggs animation so just make sure you don't forget that the lighting setup was really simple i just put a purple plane i put a tiny bit of purple in the ambient atmosphere and then i kind of just put some big area lights and just turn the brightness way up these project files are available on my patreon if you want to support this channel or check them out thank you for watching Please share your creations with me on Instagram. I love when you guys show me what you've done and oftentimes I'll share them on my Instagram. 